intertwined everything to do with everyone else on the planet. We can't have our own nation anymore. So they call it, or oh, you're bigoted, or you're racist, or something like that. But it isn't. Like, just say Ireland, for instance, right? It's for the Irish people, okay? So what they've done is that they've, like I said, they've intertwined everything with every other nation on the planet, and a small group of filth rats... You can't call them anything here, so I'll just call them... Burr. It's like a clown nose sound, because that's what they are, really. I mean, <laughs> fucking clowns, dude. You know, so... So they've intertwined every other country with every other country, predominantly, obviously, uh, the inventor countries. So we can't have our own nation, so they call you racist and all the rest of it. But it's, this has got nothing to do with this all sleight of hand, sleight of words to try and make you feel this way or another. But to have a country running properly, you need two things. I could run this country, Ireland, even though it wouldn't be acceptable for me to run it because I'm only half Irish, right? And so you'd have to be, in my opinion, you'd have to be full Irish to be able to run the country. It needs to come from the people. Ireland needs to be run by people that are Irish, English people for England, France, and so on, right? So Germany and so on. So this is what you need. You need a dictator to run the country, okay? Someone who loves the country, loves his people. That's what you need. That's what you need. There's nothing wrong with a dictator. It has to be the right kind of dictator, a, a one that has a very big care in his heart for his nation, his people, his country, his history, where they're going in the future, and children, of course, very, very, has to very much care for children of his particular nation. This nonsense about you have to care for everyone. No, they have other people in their nations where they can care, can find people that care for them that can, that can rule the nation in a correct way. This is all nonsense. This is all communism. Okay, so like I said, if I was fully Irish, I could run this country and I could, I, this country would improve in about three days if I was, if I was a dictator in this country, I'd know exactly what to do within the bigger parameters, not the smaller ones, but you'd have other people running that and the bigger parameters, I'd know what to do straight away and things would move very, 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 very quickly. There would be none of this bullshit of looking at this mongoose effect of like, oh, they're not getting votes here or we're waiting for someone for the council for this so that. No, it operate very, 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 very quickly. OK, with a true good dictator that has a care in his heart for his people. OK, so the first two things you need for your nation is number one, you need someone who is of the country, of that nation running the country. Number two, what you would need is the banking system needs to be stripped out of the country completely and it needs to be printed by the government that's run by the people of the country okay so the government would print money interest free Inter interest is a scam so they can move it up and down and there's like compound interest and it goes this way and it goes that way and they can confuse people like wait a second what's going on no it's very very simple okay you charge a fee the government's supposed to the government bank is supposed to work for the people of that nation and no other nation for that nation individually. Okay, so what you would do is that you would have a fee for that particular loan. Just say, for instance, if you wanted to loan out ten thousand euros, you'd have a one-time fee of about eight hundred, seven hundred euros on top of the ten thousand. So you pay that up front. So you would pay that seven hundred or seven. Seven eight hundred for the ten thousand pound up front. Then you'd get the loan, right? And then you'd have a certain amount of time which you'd have to work out how to pay the money back. And then there would be charges if you didn't pay it back on time. That's only fair. It's only logical, right? So that's the first thing you'd do. You'd have the government print the money interest free only for a fee, okay? And there'd be no privatized bank charging interest above any government because you don't own your own government. You have no country if there's a bank above the government. That means that the bank is in charge. The banks are in charge, and we know who runs the banks. It's the... They run the country. That's why all the borders are open. They own the... Every country that they have a bank in, they own the fucking country. Why can't Ireland have uh, Irish people running their own government and printing the money interest-free? And then every country would do that. I could call it something else, but they'd probably get banned as well, okay? These lying pieces of trash. 
So that's what you'd need to do. If I was fully Irish, I'd be able to run this country the day after tomorrow way better than this uh, ran right now. These are all mongoose effect nitwits walking around working for the enemy. They don't work for us. They try and draw everything out with word salad nonsense. No, things can move very, very quick when you have one person making a decision and it's for the love of the country and of the people. Over and fucking out.